Tokyo, U.S. President Donald Trump is likely to make a bad deal with North Korea that doesn't involve the isolated nation completely dismantling its nuclear program, American experts warned Friday, Trump's bar for a good deal may not be complete verifiable irreversible denuclearization, but something he can argue he did better than his predecessors, Victor Cha, senior advisor and Korea chair at the Washington-based Center for Strategic and International Studies, said at a CSIS, Nikkei Symposium in Tokyo. Sue Mitiri, a senior fellow at CSIS, said that a bad deal would be a peace treaty without getting North Korea to denuclearize the comments come as the two sides appear to be in deadlock over where talks are heading. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un asked U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo for an end to economic sanctions when they met in Pyongyang on October. 7. A major sticking point as the two sides discuss the dismantlement of the North's nuclear program. The U.S. has repeatedly called on the North to disclose its nuclear holdings and give inspectors from the International Atomic Energy Agency access to nuclear facilities, Kim told Pompeo he was ready to accept inspections at the Pungiri nuclear test site and other facilities, but only in exchange for an end to sanctions imposed by the United Nations Security Council and a joint declaration officially ending the Korean War. Trump and Kim agreed to meet again after their first encounter but are struggling to set a date and venue. Trump said the meeting could come after the midterm elections, on November 6 while John Bolton, Trump's national security adviser, said the summit could be a couple of months away. Terry said that momentum is building toward a second summit, but warned that Kim now holds the upper hand, Kim Jong-un has a strategy, and it is working, he's calling the shots, said Terry, who was a senior analyst on Korean issues at the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency from 2001 to 2008. There seems to be confusion and chaos in Washington, and that stands in contrast to Pyongyang and Seoul. Victor Cha, senior advisor and Korea chair at the Washington-based Center for Strategic and International Studies, photo by Shihoko Nakaoka. Over the long term, Kim Jong-un wants to gain international acceptance of North Korea as a nuclear, a normal, power, she added. Kim hopes that a peace treaty will lead to the removal of U.S. troops from South Korea, the end of the nuclear umbrella, and ultimately the end of the U.S.-South Korea alliance. While North Korea appears to have put the issue of sanctions on the table, Cha, blaming Trump's trade war with Beijing, said they probably aren't biting much right now as the country appears to be trading as normal with China. He also said that Trump's summit with Kim put China in an awkward position, prompting Kim's three meetings with Chinese President Xi Jinping and a normalization of the neighbor's relationship. Chao was director for Asian Affairs on the National Security Council from 2004 to 2007, when he served as deputy head of the U.S. Delegation at the Six Nation Talks with North Korea. He had been under consideration to become U.S. Ambassador to South Korea, but was dropped as Trump's initial choice after privately expressing disagreement with the administration's North Korea policy, according to the Washington Post. Chao argued in an op-ed last month that there is room for the U.S. and North Korea to make tangible progress if the U.S. first rethinks its negotiating strategy, the way to do so, and to avoid a potential public split with Seoul, is for the U.S and South Korea to divide talks into two tracks, negotiating peace and denuclearization separately.